Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing on the, on the new DJI FPB drone. And I got the FPB combo. And I'm also gonna compare it to the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum. This drone, I had it for almost four years and I didn't feel until this day that I needed to upgrade it to the new one because I feel like the newer ones, they do make it a little better here and there, but I didn't think it was worth it upgrading yet. And then when it comes to this one, to the FPB drone, I almost didn't buy it because I thought it was gonna be the one that it was finally gonna replace this one, uh, almost four years old drone. So the reason I almost didn't buy it is because apparently you do can fly it like this one, but you cannot get the cinematic look because you only have has a one access gimbal, so it only goes like up and down. And this one is three, so it goes up and down to the sides and all that, right? So one thing I'm wondering is whenever you put it on FP, FPB mode on the, the new drone, it locks the axis, right? So that's how you control your angle and supposedly, I guess, like your speed that you can go. So I wonder why didn't you put a three gimbal axis and then lock it whenever it goes into FPB mode and then unlock it like make sure it works like a regular gimbal when you put it on normal mode because now I need to carry two drones instead of just one so I kind of disappointed that you see I still had to carry this one which is still good I, I got the uh, fly mode combo so I got like three berries and all that so that's why I feel like I haven't it's not worth it for me to upgrade yet because to the new Mavics because I don't feel like it's pretty much the same thing. Another reason I didn't want to buy this one that I have my doubts is because this one it doesn't get this small. So now um so now I have to carry two drones and one of them I have to carry it in a different bag. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know the size. So I'm trying to see how big it is compared to this one when it's on fall. I was this little disappointed that you can afford it, but the more I get into the FPB drone, I kind of understand why they didn't do the foldable arms because more likely you're gonna crash it. That's one. So this is and it's so fast and it's going, going to be twisting in that. So you don't want that variable there that it might get loose over time and they might end up messing up the whole drone. So I kind of get it, what you can afford it. Maybe they should have got like a lock mechanism. Maybe later on we see like on the new ones, we see the, the one that has the three gimbal assets and one that you can fold it, make it small. Because now for this one I had to buy a bag and the cheapest one I can find is $60. So that's an extra bag that I have to carry. So that's my two cents for for today, I guess. So let's go, go ahead and open this up. Let me get my knife to take out the plastic. So the reason I ended up buying it is because I always wanted to get into the FPB drone, but I seen that it was like really complicated. It, it, it's not that um, I wasn't like scared to learn to fly it. I always wanted to learn, but it's just like putting it together. You had to learn, you had, you had to do a lot of research. Yeah, apparently you had to learn how to uh, solder, you had to learn the batteries, components, and how everything works. You had to learn how to program it. It sounded like it's, it's not obviously it's not possible to do it, it's possible to do it, but you need a lot of time, and that's something that I don't have. So, with this one, it kind of give you like I'm, I'm sure I'm not gonna put it 
maybe for like the first five minutes, I'm gonna put in normal mode and then I'm gonna go straight to sport because I have a lot of experience with this one. So I don't think I need a normal mode. I might just try it out to see how high it handles and if I, if I, it can replace this one. So after seeing what kind of footage I can get, I'm probably gonna see if I can replace it and sell this one. I also have here the controller to compare it and extra battery because apparently it looks, based on the videos and pictures I've seen, the batteries looks a lot bigger and heavier. So I kind of want to compare everything with it. Um, so let's take off the plastic. And I guess you open it from here. So the tape. By the way, I'm gonna do another video comparing it to the Mavic to see how it compares with um, with this one and if to see if you can replace it or if you still need two drones because obviously you don't always want to have a FPB video. Sometimes you want kind of like the slow motion kind of like cinematic look. So that's what the reason I'm not selling the Mavic so hopefully um, this one it can still be good enough to replace it but we're gonna see so apparently this is more than his plastic apparently is is like a plastic in carbon like carbon fiber i guess mixed together here's another word saying the fancy way to say it is it's plastic that is gonna last longer, right? So right away it feels it feels it feels stiff. It's pre, it feels pretty good. It looks pretty it looks fancy. Um weight wise it doesn't say weight I thought it was gonna be heavy compared to the pictures but now that I have it on my hand it actually it's really small. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger so comparing it, it's, it weighs almost the same. And this one already has the battery. So when you put it like this, it's actually smaller than the Mavic Pro Planet. I don't know about the new Mavic. I think the new Mavic is the same size as this. So it might be, um, might be a good way to compare it to. So when it comes like that, it's a little smaller, but now when it comes, when you put it like this, obviously this one, the FPV is a little fatter. So I, it's, it's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. I thought it was gonna be kind of like between the Mavic and the Phantom. I used to have the Phantom. So I thought, I thought it was gonna be that bigger, but no, it's, it feels, doesn't feel heavy. If it, it feels pretty strong, I'm not planning to go crazy with it, so I hope it will last me. And I don't know, I guess the more I fly it, the more comfortable I'm gonna get. So, uh, right now, because it's gonna hurt if if I break this. I don't, I didn't get the um, DJI care because I felt like it wasn't really worth it because you pay two. 200 or 150 for one year then 300 for 320 for two years and whether you get a one year or two years you get you only get two replacements and you still have to pay more to get to get a new one so I felt like later on the community they're gonna have aftermarket parts so it's gonna be you're gonna be able to fix it your own self so when I, when parts start coming out more, then I'm probably gonna get a little more crazy with it and like start practicing going to obstacles and stuff like that. But as right now, I'm not planning to go, I'm planning to use a manual, but not too crazy, like going to obstacles that more likely are gonna hit and stuff like that because 1300 for this, it's really expensive. Well, if you put it, if you wanna replace it, the drone is 800, but so either, either way, 800 is a lot of money. So, um, let's take out the battery to compare it to the other one. So 
so I'm surprised that this looks really big but when you hold it it's like really light it weighs about the same as the Mavic I thought it was gonna be like a lot heavier it weighs like it weighs pretty much the same as the drone that's what it feels obviously I'm sure it, it would there's a the actual number is a little different but that's what it feels like actually a little at least it feels a little bit heavier on the drum but I'm surprised I thought it was gonna be a lot a lot heavier so here's the drone and let's see the goggles so this it does feel lightweight it does feel a little bit like like um, it does feel a little bit of cheap plastic compared to to the drone it got little stickers here I don't know if um, so far it doesn't feel like it's gonna fit my face so I don't know I can still see a little bit light so I don't know if you can adjust it but it does I mean it does feel really nice it doesn't feel like that heavy so there's that I have no idea how to use this I just put a fingerprint on it and then let's see what else we got so here we got the remote shit and now this in person it looks head uh, looks bigger than what i've seen in pictures and other videos it does feel nice honestly let me get my my ps4 controller so i can compare it so you can compare the size of it so here's the uh, ps4 controller and it feels a little bit heavier and it's a little bit more beefy than the ps4 controller you can see it's a little bit bigger um but it feels nice it looks nice i thought i thought it was gonna be like probably a little smaller than this but it's a little bigger no, no big deal um it does look nice it does look really nice Hopefully I don't lose the little sticks. By the way, if you lose them, I think they're like $10. So I think they're like a little bit overpriced for the little thing, to be honest. If I lose it, I'm more likely I'm gonna get screws. And it's just gonna stick in there. So. It does feel nice. Oh, another thing, I tried to do the uh, vir virtual flying on the phone. Before I got this, I was trying to see if I can practice before I got this and then go ahead and fly it uh, on FPB mode, on manual mode. So when you try to do it on your phone because it's a touch, it's not a lot of stick, you cannot like, actually feel for it. I couldn't do it because the touch, I would feel like I was going straight, but because of my finger, the way my finger was, it was actually sliding this way. So I wasn't successful to try it good so uh, i want to try it out with this and see how it does really work and hopefully i can learn a lot from the virtual flying simulation and be like a motherfucking expert right so this is pretty good i like it um let's see so the propellers they do feel cheap. They do feel like the Mavic. They're probably a little stronger. No, they feel the material. And the ones on the Mavic, I have a lot of, like bends because when I put it on my packet, not my packet on my bag. So that's not good for this. And I heard they're like kind of expensive, it's like $15. So that's not good so hopefully they can come out with like the aftermarket parts 
they can come out with something stronger than this and you can crash it. I've seen people like the main thing that they messed up is like they bend this over whenever they crash. So that's not good. So hopefully they come out with something stronger. Like the Aston Market part is probably even cheaper. Because I think that the other ones for the actual FPV drones, you can get them for $5 and they're a lot stronger than this. So hopefully we can get something more something stronger and better than this. And then we have, oh, we got two sets of propellers. And then we have this. So you get like this little cover. This um, other co color green honestly i don't know why you would want to change it to green i think it looks way better because you can see the inside it looks it looks more badass but in order in order to replace this uh you have to take out all the screws and all that so it's gonna take some time so i just gonna leave it like that it looks be better and then we get like the headband for your uh gogos and then we get cables with cables, a lot of cables. And here's the antennas for the uh, the goggles. And I see an L wrench here. So the L wrench, I'm pretty sure it's for the part here to adjust the uh, to adjust the spring of this and. They say he's to slide it, but it won't slide back. Well, I guess I'll try that later. So, yeah, so if you wanted to do like a real FPV, like for this to stay down, um, you have to adjust the spring. I think I would like better to go up or to have it a little bit um little pressure so instead of letting go like to just drop like you have a little spring on it so i feel like i feel more comfortable doing that then just like letting it be all loose but i don't know i guess i have to play with it and see and you know it's like gonna try with the simulator before i actually go outside and go crash it um so we have a lot of cables and then we have here I think this is the charger. So this is the battery for the gogos. Yeah, and it looks like a smart battery. So if you press it, it tells you how much battery you got. So that's pretty cool. It kind of sucks that you had to have a lot of wires hooked to your head, but I guess that's, it is what it is, right? And then here's the Asus charger, which is pretty big. It's a lot bigger than the Mavic, that's for sure. So you do get a lot. So let's say if you travel, you do need like an extra bag because I don't think I can put this on my camera bag. I can probably do it, but I will have to take out a lot of stuff and probably not take out my, don't take my Mavic. So when it comes to traveling to places, um, I probably had to like do one more bag, which is aggravating to have one more bag. But I can probably strap these in my backpack and um, you strap it like that, and hopefully it won't fall, and nobody try to steal it. So, besides that, and let's see how easy it is to put this in here. So here you have a little spring, so to put pressure, so you do have to push it down. So you have to push it down, and then you turn it, and it locks. You kinda can feel it in here when it locks. So that's pretty cool. Easy to replace, I guess. And to take it out, you push it down, 
Let me twist it the opposite way. I think. So the red, you push it to the right to lock it, and the solid ones, the black ones, I guess you can say, you twist it to the, to the left to lock it, because remember, this pin in the opposite way. So, I guess that's pretty cool. Yeah, you got A, A, B, and B. So, A is obviously the one with the red, and the B is the one with the black. Uh, you do get, let me see how many propellers we get. You get four of A and four of B, so you get two sets. So I guess you can go ahead and break two sets, and then after that you have to buy the expensive ones. Um, is fifteen dollars a set? So after taxes and shipping and all, I know that bullshit is like twenty dollars to be honest. So that's kind of a little disappointed. Um, because for something that doesn't last that long, it feel like really weak. So I'm gonna do another review uh, comparing it to the actual flying. So if you would like to see that, definitely subscribe. And I'm gonna do, I haven't seen a tutorial on how to really fly this, this one. So I might end up doing that and to see for somebody that never flew an FPV drone before, what kind of tips I can give a new beginner before you actually go out because I'm sure I'm gonna learn a lot of new to it that I had to either learn my own way or do a lot of research before I go out and try it out. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you would like to see all that. I hope, um, I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.